Yo, guys especially, let me put you on to some game because somebody just put some game on me and it just like really had me. Still, I'm thinking about it like, wait, well, hold on. So I'm at Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, right? And this guy's in the line. He's taking a long time. But I'm not really like worried because I don't even know what I want. So he turns around. He was like, if you want to go, you can go. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Like, you know, take your time. I don't even know what I want because I usually always get a latte. But I'm like, mm, let me spice it up a little bit. By the way, man, perfect way to start a conversation. That's easy. We in Dunkin' Donuts. And we, I'm kind of unsure about what I want, and I pick up she is. So now let me say to her, and she's attractive too. Oh, um, if you want to go ahead and order, you can order. Perfect way to get into a conversation. See, with women, you got to learn how to stay within the moment, especially with a beautiful chick. But also too, you got to get good at talking to people just in public in general, because when you can talk to people in public. It ain't nothing to really talk to a beautiful chick who's next to me. As long as it the opportunity to present itself, I'm a I'm going. Today, so you know, I was thinking about a cold brew. So he's, you know, looking at donuts. He keeps turning around asking me questions like, Did you know they had a matcha donut? And I'm like, oh no, like I didn't, you know, I never had matcha, da da da. Like, little small conversation. He gets, you know, get to the uh, cashier and he's about to order. And he orders like whatever he was ordering. Then he looks back, he was like, Hey, did you did you want a donut? And I was like, yeah, why not? Like, sure. And like, we was laughing about like, cause at first I said strawberry and I was like, mm -mm, no, I want glazed chocolate. And they was like glazed chocolate. Like, it's just like a little small conversation, whatever. And, um, he gives me the donut and by the way, ga female game one-on-one, -on -one, the way she's expressing this conversation, you can tell that she likes him. Like you can tell, think about how she's like, it's a little small talk or whatever. Like you can tell by this conversation, she's rocking with him. And that means Buddy wasn't doing too much. See, when you're in public, it's so easy because all you got to do is talk about something in the surroundings. Now, I'm not saying doing it in the gym. The gym is way different. We know how it is. That, that's a whole nother story. But if you're in Dunkin' Donuts, it's like, oh, okay, what do you usually get? Okay, that's what's up. I might have to try that. How many times you be coming up here? Oh, that's okay. That's what's up. And you just go off what she's saying at that point. And then you're coming off as not thirsty. Hey. I was like, you know, thank you. I really appreciate that. Like, you didn't have to give me a donut, but, you know, I appreciate that. He was like, no problem. He walks out. Player, you buy her something. Think about this, right? Like, when the typical dude that goes to the bar and you, you buying somebody drinks. You know, the typical guy buying a woman a drink, right? Usually a woman knows that, okay, this dude expects something out of me. And then it's game over because she knows like, okay, this dude, he, cause the dude usually start pushing up on her, starts to talk to her. So she knows in her head, okay, this dude expects something. But when you just have a conversation with her, buy her the donut and you dip and she was attracted to you. Oh no, she can't, have, she can't, ah, uh, she can't take it. A woman can't take that because it's like every other dude would have got her number in that scenario so the fact that you had a conversation with me and i know i'm attractive and i look good and you still chose to walk out the door oh yeah she can't take that she can't take that <laughs> in my head i'm like that's it you're not gonna ask my number like that's that's all you just that's it mind you the donut was probably like a dollar i'm not saying buy every girl a, a damn donut but i'm just like he walked out like and mind you the cashier trying to talk to me and get my order i'm like fuck that order where did he go i'm breaking my neck looking out the window i know a lot of us kind of feel like this is impossible for a woman that look you know she's attractive a woman to look like this and she be that thirsty over you but it's not when you come from a place of abundance homie probably went in like yeah she's attractive but i'm gonna leave her wondering I'm going I'm, I'm to try to make her, I'm going to see if she's willing to come out and try to get my attention. I'm going to make her work. You know what I'm saying? Because, and he's smart. He bought her the donut and had a conversation and dipped. He knows that would have triggered her because he probably could pick up in the moment. Okay, she's clearly attracted to me because she's into the conversation, right? Boom. Now in your head, you're like, yo, if I buy her a donut <laughs> and just dip, then she may come running for me but if she doesn't cool either way cool you know so buddy was smart he had a he had a game plan this is why vetting is so important 
understanding how to vet is super duper important looking out the window like did he really just leave i get my stuff i walk outside i see him okay now I'm going to add this part at the end. But I, I go to the passenger seat of my car to put my stuff in because that's where he is. He's on the other side versus me going to my actual side. So I go to the passenger side and I... <laughs> so now she's going to the passenger side of the car. It's it's crazy. Like women literally have put themselves in position for you to capitalize. They want to literally make it as easy as possible for you. It's like if you watch basketball, it's like somebody throwing you an alley-oop. It's for you to take the ball and put it straight in the rim. Easy. Allie, you, if, if, I'm right, if I'm right by the rim, I'm catching it and I'm throwing it down. Easy. And that's what she wants him to. She, she wants to make it as easy as possible for him. But it's crazy because of a woman. If women actually shoot they shot at guys in person, it's crazy. They would, they would shoot such a high percentage. I don't even know if they understand that. What dude is going to say no to an attractive woman? Think about that. What dude is going to be like, oh, nah, I'm good. I got a girlfriend. Like, <laughs> now, if you have a girl, I'm not saying to cheat. Like, I, I'm not telling dudes to, to cheat and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is, I've never heard a dude say, have you ever watched a movie and a dude said, I had a girlfriend? Or seen on social media and a dude says, oh, I have a girlfriend. I've never seen that. I don't even know if that exists. I'm putting my stuff in there the whole time. I'm like, please say something to me. Please say something to me. Please say something to me. He, he eventually asked, ended up asking for my number. But girl, when I walked outside, he was in this. He got her. That's the perfect way to get a woman. He, he literally brought her into like a spider web and he attacked. It's like he set her up for the okie doke. Because now that you can't think about this, this is why betting is important, right? Because part of betting is like, Oh, so she came outside and she came to our passenger side by me and was kind of looking at me. She literally wanted this situation to happen. And that's the best feeling ever. That's a woman who is highly interested. See, a woman like that, even if she stayed 45 minutes away from you, she'll come close to by where you stay by to do an activity. She, she'll come to your crib after the date if it goes well. This is a type of woman who is not going to make it difficult for you because she wants you. Now, if you would have went in that donut store and seen her and just tried to go straight for the number like, oh, you're very beautiful. If you said what every other dude was saying, oh, you you're so beautiful. And if you did that, the outcome would have been different. But again, you we like you have to get like you really got to get good at having conversations with people in general, like in public. Like I try, like if I'm at a park, hey, how you doing today? Even if it's just that, I do that with random people because when you get comfortable with talking to people, then when you see a woman you want, it's really true. I know it sounds cliche or it's stupid to like, oh, just talk to random people. But by talking to random people, I can talk to random people in anywhere where I live. Where I work, where I go to, anywhere I go, I can talk to people. So that way, when I see a, a fine chick that I want, then it's no pressure. But if you're not used to talking everyday people, then it's pressure. It's facts. Nice as fucking car. And the thing is, I don't even care about the car because without me seeing the vehicle, he was just very like his energy was just like amazing and then the fact that he just walked out after that i was like i need to see who this man is like where did he go you know what i'm saying but yeah um more of the story i'm just saying like that whole complimenting and walking away we be in a choke i'll be like he don't because you know every guy i want to talk to us but when a man just do that and walk away i'll be like fuck who is he now i know some of y'all gonna be like well she you know josh well she wants she seen this car but that no because she still came outside before she even knew he had a nice ride so it would have been different like y'all seen those videos on tiktok where you know a girl she'll um reject the dude but then he walked to his whip and she see he in a ferrari now she want to come talk to him now you just showed me you're a gold digger because you ain't want to talk see you ain't want to talk to me before you see my lamborghini 
So that's that lets me know that you you just wanna you want me for my money. You don't want me because you you rejected. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough, but the Lamborghini was. That's the car. You want the car. You don't want me. I'm straight. But she wanted him. See, she would have never even came outside if she didn't want him. So she would have even never seen the whip if she wasn't interested. So this lets you that that car part. That's just icing on the cake. And he got a nice car. Think about you did all of this. You have her feeling like this. And she come outside and see her Urus. Lamborghini with the curse of L on the back of the car. Oh, yeah. She she coming over tonight. Tonight. She as soon as possible. She about to go home and take a shower. She she ready for you to drop the address. When you don't come off as thirsty and you're not like looking for a certain outcome. When you're having a conversation with a woman, especially when a woman knows when she's attractive and she knows you like her and you don't make a move on her, that that puts her in a chokehold because now she sees that you're not like the other guys. You're not like all these other dudes that, you know, what I'm saying when they see me in public, they just telling me how good I look. I'm beautiful, that they want to date me. They want to get to know me saying all this generic stuff, which is what most men do. When you say all this generic stuff. And she's gonna curve you. But the guy that just has a conversation, you see the difference between having a conversation and trying to spit game? It's two different mindsets. In public, you always have to have a conversation. The game in public is to have conversation. You don't try to spit game. Never be like, oh, you look so beautiful, or you look good, or, you know, never do that. You always wanna have a conversation based off what's around. So if you're in a bookstore, you could be like, oh, you um, if we're in the self-help section, okay, what um what type of books have you read from over here? Or what type of books do you usually read? You can get into a conversation about that. Okay, you like you like books on psychology? What's your um have you read The Four Agreements? You know, have you read Think and Grow Rich? Oh yeah, I love Napoleon Hill. So depending on where you at, you have a conversation. You gotta treat it the same way as if you was in public with somebody that you didn't necessarily want to make a, an advance at. So say it's just like an older woman and you're kind of just, she's talking to you, you're having a conversation back. It's usually about something in that setting. So you treat the beautiful woman you want the same way because when you treat her like a human, she can respect, she respect that. When you have an abundance mindset and you don't chase a woman just because she got a fat ass and you kind of just going about your life, that's attractive because she don't know like is he interested or not that that drives her crazy it's the same way my favorite cartoon is scooby-doo once they find out who's under the mask they go on to the next mystery you know what i'm saying it's all about being mysterious because every other dude is not being mysterious so like I say on every video, man, we got to continue to put ourselves first. All right, guys, that's my video for today, man. I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel as always. Guys, make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.